Hey, good day. It's Dan here. And today I want to share with you a topic that uh, I shared a <coughs> Facebook post. Excuse me. Just getting over a cold. So um, I shared a Facebook post here the other day on uh, what you can do when you're feeling the cash crunch. What you can do when you feel like there's just not enough out there for you. Uh, you need to make some money or you want to invest in your business and you don't have a budget for it, you know, what can you do to come up with some extra cash? And it got a lot of interaction. So I thought I'd shoot a quick video here and share some of those tips with you as well. And so <clears throat> there's a number of things you can do when, when it feels like, you know, you, you're, you're down to your last dollar and you don't know where you're going to get another one. You know, people say it takes money to make money, and I don't necessarily agree with that. I think money is everywhere. Really, all you need is one great idea. And there's lots of ways you can uh, create money or attract money into your life. So I'm going to share with you a couple of quick tips that could help you generate some new money that perhaps you hadn't thought of. And so number one is to sell stuff on eBay. Now, whether that's stuff you've got around the house, um, whether it's stuff you find at a garage sale, you know, you could go out and, and find some treasures at a garage sale and then throw it up on eBay and uh, see what you get for it. You, you never know. You may just stumble on some rare artifact that's uh, worth a lot of money. So that's one strategy is sell stuff on eBay. Number two, you could uh, sell your services. No, not like that. Um, there's a, a website called Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. So it's Fiverr with two R's. And basically, it's a website where you pay five bucks to get things done. Now, whether that's transcribe uh, an audio or a video for somebody, whether that's get some graphic design work done, design some business cards, do some marketing, do some voiceovers, uh, teach you a language, how to say things in a certain language, take pictures in your hometown. You name it, somebody on there is doing it for five bucks. And so you can become one of the providers and you can offer your services. If you have a talent, if you have a craft you like to do, um, if you're skilled technically, there's a ton of demand for those kind of services. All great ways, you know. Every every gig you sell is five bucks. Uh, I think they keep a portion of that, but still, it's it's money in your pocket for providing a service. And so you could you could uh, go on there, set yourself up as a uh, provider, and start providing service to people. Tip number three is uh, another place to sell things online is websites like Craigslist or Kijiji here in Canada. And we have used Kijiji for so many things over the years. When we were buying and renovating houses, we'd get in there and, and uh, if there were old cabinets in there, we'd sell them on Kijiji. We sold the kitchen sink. So <laughs> there's the old adage, everything but the kitchen sink. Well, we actually sold the kitchen sink too. So. Uh, it's great places to to post um, some of the things you've got lying around that you just don't want anymore. Get rid of old furniture you're not using. Get rid of old books you're not using. Old clothes, um, stuff you got lying around the house that's just of no use to you or not great use to you that you could sell and put money in your pocket. And again, you can. Uh, lots of times there's a free category on those sites. You can go pick things up for free and then turn around and relist them on the site and sell them. Uh, somebody just wanted to get it out of their way, so they gave it away. It might be valuable to somebody else so you can sell it. Another option you have is to create an ebook and, and put it up on Amazon. I created a ebook a couple of years ago, and I got in the process of posting it on Amazon, but never finished the process. A few months ago, somebody reminded me of my book. And so I finished off that process. And now every month I get notifications that I've sold a few more books. And uh, I, haven't, I haven't done any editing. I haven't done any marketing. I don't have to do anything. It's just there. People find my book on Amazon and they buy a copy. 
and it brings in some money every month. So that's another option. If you've got a, uh, an expertise, some knowledge that you can share in an ebook form, then put it out there. Somebody's looking for that information. And so those are a number of ways. Uh, of course, there's always the old uh, tried and true methods. You could do some babysitting. You could shovel some locks. You could mow some lawns. Uh, do some physical things. Uh, get out there and do things that people don't want to do, and they'll willingly pay you to do it. Yeah, maybe it feels like you're above that, you're better than that, but if it means making an extra 100 bucks a month that you could invest in your business and run some ads and get your online business working the way you want it to, it's well worth that few hours of your time that you're going to spend doing. So I hope those tips were helpful. Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon on another.